your mind starts to overanalyze that small worry. And so the small worry is now a big, full, blown up fear. Small worry to big fear. All of a sudden, your heart skips a beat, your chest contracts just a tiny little bit, and you can feel that it's harder to breathe. You put your fingers to your cheeks and they come away wet with the tears. Your palms are sweaty and your eyes can't focus. After a few minutes of not remembering how to breathe, your mind tells you that it's going to be okay. And it starts trying to calm you down. That was an anxiety attack. But what exactly is anxiety though? Anxiety is knowing that everything will be okay, but having that underlying fear that everything's out of your control. Anxiety is knowing that you will get a job, but having that underlying fear that you will be jobless and that no one will hire you. Anxiety is knowing that you are surrounded by love, but having that underlying fear that everyone dislikes you. Oh, and that guy you like, he's only tolerating you until you walk across that graduation stage and out of his life. Anxiety is tapping your fingers on your desk right before an interview or a big exam. Why? It's the one thing keeping you from an attack. It's subconsciously spinning the ring on your finger. Why? You're scared of the outcome. And it's pretending the ring is there even when it isn't. Why? Because it's the one comfort that you know you have. Anxiety is standing in front of an audience and thinking they're only noticing the shaking hands and paper when in reality they're focused on you, your words. An anxiety attack is feeling hopeless, vulnerable, alone. Feeling like all of the happiness and hope is gone. And it's almost like you received a kiss from a dementor and chocolate may cure the pain, but only for a little while. The demons of your thoughts are eager, eager to come out and play again. They live for the torment of your thoughts and mind. Anxiety is when people look you in the eye and they question whether you're actually anxious. They ask and they ponder and then they finally tell you, but you look okay. Anxiety isn't a disease you see on the outside, but it is a disease on the inside the scars on your heart, thoughts, and mind. Anxiety, depression, and self-injury. Believe me when I say I've been through it all. I may not have the scars to prove it, but each scar tells a story, a story that only the barrier knows, and a heavy load is lifted off the barrier's shoulders until the story is told. Well, until the new scars appear. It's knowing you need a therapist or psychiatrist, but also knowing that you're not ready to tell a stranger, because at times, you feel like your own friends are judging you. With anxiety, all you can do is turn the page, focus on the note now, find the positive and the negative. Keep a journal full of the positive days, and when your anxiety is at a full-time high, remember the good, and I promise it will be okay. I don't normally show this vulnerable side of me, especially not to strangers, but anxiety is not a disease. Please don't be ashamed you have this. In the long run, anxiety makes you stronger. Why? It makes you see the good when others see the bad. I know you will prevail, just like I know I will. Thank you.